Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. So I know it's been a long time since I posted, but I intend to start making more videos very soon. I'll explain the situation. Basically, um, for one, coronavirus has got me down. Hopefully all of you are staying safe um, at work. I've been, you know, trying to be really safe, wear a mask and stuff. I am working on other people's cars. So it's a little bit nerve wracking, but don't deal with people too much. So that's always good. Um, but anyway, I have been working on the car, which You'll see the whole passenger side has all been primed up. So uh, I am quite a bit further. You'll see that the jams on this side are all painted as well. So all fresh paint, um, smoke gray metallic, exactly like the other side. So we're all good to go as far as door jams go. This side in the rear, also up front. So everything is nicely painted. Um, hopefully you guys are liking the color. I'm really stoked. I think it looks amazing. I'm so pumped. So it's coming out awesome. Um, but the reason why I haven't been making videos is because my computer took a crapper, guys. So my computer, um, I decided I was going to be cheap by like a budget PC back a little while ago. Spent a couple hundred bucks on it. Bought a graphics card for it and uh, some RAM. Didn't last that long, unfortunately. So I just bought myself a nice editing machine. Um, it's like a nice gaming laptop with a nice processor. So should be able to turn out better content more quality content and faster for you guys. Uh, I'm pumped about that, so look forward to that. And also, I just kind of got um, some news from work that we're gonna start working one week on, one week off, and so I will be home for quite a bit of time. So that means a lot of work's gonna get done on this thing right here. I do have a lot of projects to do at home, so I won't just be working on the car, but I would like to, by the end of this, get this whole thing painted. So I think this is gonna start the uh, first of a series here. I'm going to call it something like uh, painting in quarantine or something like that. Quarantine painting my Honda or some stuff like that. So we're going to see if we can get this thing painted during these next eight weeks that I'm going to be in and out of work quarantined at home for the most part. See if we can get this thing painted up. So I'm pretty stoked. I got some clips from shooting the other side there and I'll probably throw those in right now. If, uh, some areas here that need a little bit of filler but it's uh, the bottom of the door, so I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. I'm going a little bit crazy, but that's just kind of what I do. So now that the bottom of our door that nobody will ever see looks beautiful, let's uh, proceed with the rest of the process here. But uh, yeah. So I turned the door over. I think the other side is pretty much ready for primer. And now I want to get this side ready. Um, seems look like it was wobbly. Anyway, um, I kind of wrecked this side because my welds came through from the other side. I kind of got too hot and I uh, wrecked it. So that's cool. Uh, I got to grind that now. And over here too is where the other one was. So both these spots, the primer is kind of messed up. And this whole bottom edge is kind of wrinkled for me messing with it. You can't tell on camera, but not the, not the hottest. So probably going to just hit this with a little bit of a, a grinder and uh, make sure I don't get it too hot. And then I'll give this whole thing a sand with like some 80 grit down here. And then I'm going to slap some filler on it and then try to block this whole section out. And, uh, you know, just redo that whole bottom edge down there. And hopefully at the end of uh, that session there, that should be all set. And then I'll do some blocking up here to make sure this is all flat and straight, which I'm sure it is. And then, uh, you know, we'll scuff it and then this door will be all set. And then we'll move on to the other door and then uh, we'll be ready to do primer on everything. Basically, I got everything all primed and sanded. I wet sanded everything with 600 grit and it's looking really good. So we're ready right now. I got it all cleaned off. I just got to tack rag this before I go ahead and shoot it with base coat, which I did buy. I bought the whole gallon. It was quite expensive, but I got the whole gallon of paint. So it is going to match the rest of the car with these jams. I got medium solids, so I'll show you guys that. But yeah, everything's really smooth, been hit with 600, so hopefully everything lays down nice and flat. 
I got it all sanded nice, barely rubbed through. I'm getting uh, the hang of this whole sanding without rubbing through thing, especially on jams where it's not too crucial. I didn't put a ton of uh, primer on here. I just wanted to give myself a nice surface to paint over that was nice and even. So we got the same color consistency here. Um, and then the jams over here are the same. I've been trying to heat up the garage because I would like to achieve a panel temperature of around 63 to 65 degrees or something like that. Um, these panels are still a little cold down low down here. This is probably like 60 or like 58 degrees. Whereas, uh, you know, these areas over here are, you know, more like 62, 63, 64, and like the areas that are getting hit by this heater. So we're working on that. I'm trying to heat that up a little bit, and I have another heater over there. Uh, these panels are, you know, much warmer. They've been sitting out. Um, anything that's attached to the car is pretty cold because the car itself is all cold on the inside. So it's being cooled from the inside, but we got to heat it up from the outside. So we're working on it. As soon as everything gets warm enough, I'm going to be ready to go here. But I'm going to go ahead and start mixing up some paint and, uh, you know, get ready to shoot some base coat. But, yeah, I'll keep you guys along. Um, maybe I'll throw on the head mount or something like that. I think that always makes for some cool footage. But, uh, yeah, not going to be much talking, just focusing on painting. But I'm going to get to it and see if I can get some nice results here. Looks really good. Looks really good, guys. I'm pumped. 
I think it's coming out awesome. This paint is really nice. It lays down really well. I am stoked. These doors look sweet. I can't wait. I'm going to mix up a little bit more clear and hit a couple of dry areas. And then uh, we'll call it good. Otherwise, what I've been working on here is this bumper. So I took the rear bumper off and it was kind of rough because when I sanded it initially, um, it was still a little bit rough when I primed it. So that transferred over. But now this whole thing's really smooth. I went over the whole thing with 180, only seeing it through in a couple of areas. So we're going to go ahead and go back and hit this with a light coat of primer. And then this will be ready just like the rest of the car. I'm going to do the same thing with the front bumper and the grill and the front lip. So the lip I ended up sanding to make it smooth as well, so I'm gonna do that. But the rear lip was already pretty smooth, so I'll take a look at it. But this should just be ready for 400 and then 600 and then some paint. So this is ready. This is ready to be primed once again. These skirts, I'm trying to get all the finishing touches done so that we're ready to go all at the same time here. So I've gone a little bit further. Still waiting for my laptop to show up so I can wrap up this video for you guys, but... Um, yeah, I got uh, the, all the bumpers off, rear bumper. I got this all sanded down with 180 grit. Cut through in a couple of areas. I'm gonna go ahead and reprime the whole thing just so we don't have any issues. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and go over it with 400 like I'm doing with the rest of the car. But this I'm gonna do probably the same thing. There's a lot of areas that are super rough like in here. So I'm gonna hit all these with 180, get that all smoothed out. And this lip is pretty rough too because you know, it was all bare plastic beforehand. So I'm gonna throw some guide coat on it and I'm gonna sand this whole thing down with 180, and then uh, I'll probably separate these two and then do a little more sanding. And then uh, these pieces and also the grill, I filled in some holes in this, worked on some fitment, uh, and that I'll prime all this stuff all in one day, one shot, and then uh, you know it'll be ready with the rest of the car. And then we can start going over the whole car with 400 grit. So that's what I plan to do. Um, it's gonna be a long process, but Hopefully we can get some work done since I don't have to work as much. So this is going to be the first week, but yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying and uh, I think I'll probably cap this video off here. Hopefully I see my laptop tomorrow and I'll get this thing out to you as soon as possible. But thanks for watching guys and uh, subscribe if you're not to see the rest of this car get painted because it will get painted and it's going to be soon and it's going to be sick. I can't wait. Thanks for sticking with me and uh, peace guys.